Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got an alcohol water marble that I saw on Nell Blitz here on YouTube. I'll leave a link for her down below. This is Bitsy Flawless. It's just a white cream, and I topped it with the Quick Dry from Pro FX. I'll be using my liquid latex, and I'm just going to say right off the bat, I'm sorry, I'm showing y'all something that is so not available, but this is a collection of polishes from way back in the day. I'm showing the names. I'm not going to say them, but this was um, Pipe Dream Polishes, a night in Vegas collection, and these were like crazy sought after, super hard to get, and um, I've had them in my collection for a while. I decided to go ahead and use them today. They water marble like a dream, and that's why I stocked them and bought them. <laughs> so, I'm just making my bullseye with all of the colors from this collection, and we're gonna do some. It, we're we're not gonna do like a normal water marble. I'm really excited about it. Um, I am gonna do. I think it's two rounds of each color all the way through. And there are other neons that water marble excellent. Um, I know I have some from um, oh, Sweet and Sour Lacquer that are awesome for the same d design. And whoops, see I made a mess. It's going to be okay though because we're not doing like a normal water marble. And I am just going to draw a design in and you'll see that it's going to be totally different. There's also another brand of neons called All Mixed Up Lacquer. And I'll try to remember to leave links for these brands I'm talking about um, down below. So I've got it all kind of done. And I'm just squirting it with 91% alcohol and breaking those cells up. And then I'm just going to pick a spot. And that's what I love about this technique is you don't have to have the perfect pattern drawn in there. And as you saw, it was pulling from the edge of the cup and, you know, I had double drops of purple and, but still look at that look. Love it. I was super excited to see this. Um, just, I've seen it before. I've seen it done with single colors and it looks really good like that too. But I wanted to see these neons over this white so bad I can't even begin to tell you. Um, I am topping that, that water off there with some um, of the Pro FX and this is just a little trick I've learned to help clean off the top of the water. Using that alcohol I wasn't really sure how much residuals I was going to have left down in the cup so I just put some clear on it and kind of blue on it to get it to dry and we're going to do that same thing again. We're going to make our bullseye. I ran that toothpick around the cup to make sure it spread all the way to the edge. Not super important on this design, but it's just a habit. It's what I do when, you know, when I do a water marble. I just have it forming. But these colors are just doing great together today, and I'm so happy to have finally remembered to break them out again. And if you're wondering about those little caps on my bottles, I have done all of my collection except for the new stuff and my gels and some of my stamping polishes. But as far as the main collection of regular polishes, they've, they've all got those little caps on. And if you missed that, that's a DIY for, you know, making your own little kind of swatch toppers for your polishes. And you can see I'm just all willy-nilly, y'all. I'm just making any design, whatever, scribble, scribble, and then spraying it with that water. Find me a spot and dip in. I love how all these nails turned out. I kept staring at them and thinking, well, which one's your favorite? I, I really couldn't pick a favorite because I liked all of them. <laughs> and they were all very different. You'll get to see in the swatch photo. I am going to be playing with this some more. You can bet on it. See, like that one's totally different. It's got more of the, it's, got, it's just got more colors on it. But I figured that's my accent nail, you know. <laughs> Ooh, that latex is some tricky business. And here I am. I'm going to do that clear on top again. I'm going to top that off with some clear just to clean off that water. I don't know that anything's in it, but as a precaution, I wanted to make sure that that was cleaned off. So there we go. And we're going to do another round again. We're going to do that pinky nail. And another thing was when I did this, I only did one coat of the Bitsy polish, and it's kind of streaky and patchy and whatever, but I was figuring since I was doing this design over the top of it, that it would be fine. Um, you know, I didn't notice anything after I got done, like any bald spots or nothing. I do like the Bitsy white. Um, I think it was um, 
Debbie over at Sister Sheet that turned me on to that white. It is a really good one, and it's it's nice that you can you know find it at Sally's and it's not really expensive. So I will probably need to go and get a backup of that one. I just love seeing neons on the water. That's just so cool. See how it pulled from the edge? I don't care. Because guess what? We're going to spritz it with some alcohol. There we go. Very nice. And I really do like this. And a lot of people have used hairspray. And I tried using what I had. It was like some kind of hair spritzer or something. And it is it wasn't working for me. So I just went to this 91% alcohol. Um, I've heard people doing it with like perfume or body spray. So, you know, use what you have. Test with it. Play with it. And there we go. We're going to get that latex off. Ta-da! So here we're going to go in with a little cleanup brush and some acetone and do some cleanup. I did all the other nails off camera. As you see, I got a Q-tip there with lots of um, polish on it because I had to get it off my fingers because I never put on enough latex. I do like to go up under my nails and get that, you know, whatever got stuck under my fingernails and on my skin. I'm at the tips of my fingers. That would just make me crazy, crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today I'm using one of those little e.l.f. brushes. They work pretty good for cleanup, so, you know, I'm trying to wean myself a little bit. We'll see. So I'm going to top this with some Northern Lights, and a lot of people might think this is just kind of overkill or why I even bother, but, you know, I just wanted to have a little bit of sparkle on there with them neons. Look how cool they look. I love them. I loved seeing this design and or this, you know, this technique. That's it. And being reminded of it. I was just so excited. I was like, yes, I gotta do that. And I want you to know this manicure got wore for a full five days and it would not have gotten taken off, but I have stuff to do. I have videos to make. <laughs> we will do this one again sometime, maybe with some different colors. Now, I have topped this off with that um, Northern Lights, and it's considered a top coat, but I always top coat over that with something else, and today it's the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Um, I know I've been using this one a lot here lately, and I do like it for covering most manicures because it doesn't shrink. It's not as thick as Shush Feet or Posh, but... You know, if you want it thick like that, you can do a couple of coats of it. It dries pretty quickly. Not as fast as Sesh or Posh, but there's not much of a difference for me. And this is with a glossy top coat, and I've done it matte for you matte lovers out there like Angie. <laughs> there's the matte version. So thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.